Hello and welcome to AmiPal, the number one place on the internet for the sweetest Ami content. Now you may have seen episodes in the past where I've explained what .hd load is and why you should have it installed. And now you have a vast collection of games installed on your Amiga, as well as you should have. Um, what you may have also found is that it's a pain in the bum to actually run through all those sub drawers and directories to find the game you want to play, particularly for after a specific genre like action or shoot 'em ups or puzzle games. Well, I've got an answer for you, and that is a WHD Load Launcher program. Now, there are various ones available, but today I'm going to discuss iGame. I'll show you. So here we are in Workbench on my 68030 equipped desktop 1200. Um, you can see I've got iGame down here. I've left that out. Go into here. Here we go, iGame. The icon, I've, I've left it out so that it's jumped over there. I can put it back away if I want, but it's one of these ones where, I'm gonna have to re-snapshot that now, aren't I? <laughs> where I use it quite often, so I just have it there. It means I can just double click on it. it means I don't have to install some kind of um, dock system or anything like that, because that, that's all I really use quite often on here. You can also see the same with Jano Editor over here. Now, as you saw, um, I've lost it again. It just exists in here. Um, there's nothing much to it. Some preference files in there, uh, splash screen, different versions. You can see there's versions for Migros 4, for PowerPC and Morphos. Um, and then we've got various executable versions. Um, I think I just took a copy of iGame 030 and renamed it. Um, for, for this version here, so I'm running the correct version on here. Now, there are two files in here, genres and game list.csv. Just going to, uh, is that drag and drop? No, no. There's a limitation of Janoed, everyone, by the way. <laughs> so we'll do that. This um, is just the text file used by iGame to define the different genres that you can assign games to. Um, and similarly, game list is basically how they all get stored. So you can see um, Humans 3 Evolution Lost in Time. It's a puzzle, uh, it exists there, and then it's got other flags that get set. Um, sometimes, um, when you're doing stuff in iGame, you'll find like extra lines get added here and there, uh, usually at the top or the bottom. Um, you can just safely delete those and uh, resave the file and it doesn't affect it. I haven't found that it actually affects the usage of iGame itself, but it's probably something worth keeping in mind. Okay, so anyway, all of that. iGame itself, you wanna see it, don't you? That would help. I have double clicked on it. Um, the hard disk is just working. Hard disk, SD card. Anyway, this is iGame. Um, this initial list of games that pops up are my favorites. It hasn't highlighted it here, but it is literally my favorites. Um, I don't know, was that different? But yeah, you can, you can click on the different games that's set up and um, usually it will show you the icon that the uh, the game has. In this case, I've actually installed a uh, pack of uh, images um, that I've assigned to as many of the games in here as I can find. And yeah, they do actually look quite good. This is on, I think it's a 250, it's color workbench. Just confirm that for you. Yeah, 256 colors. So it renders them quite nicely, doesn't it? There's uh, two libraries that are used in this. Um, I think it's Render Library and GUI Graphics Library. I will confirm that as well. But uh, yeah, it does a pretty good job at uh, remapping these images. Fighting Spirit's a good one. Yeah. Anyway, how does this work? Well, you scan repositories. In here, game repositories, you point it to where your WHD load 
directory is. Um, if, like me, you've probably got quite a few WHD load games on your machine, it is a major pain to basically go through it all. Uh, yeah, I always keep it in uh, text mode on the on this workbench just because it's much easier to see them all. But it's it's just it's a pain kind of playing games like that by going through like that. It it you know this is all set up manually. Um, this is mainly the work of Zeb Elwood on the Commodore Amiga Facebook group, um, who uh, sometimes releases a torrent of um, his disk of WHD load. Um, it's all set up like this. Um, most things have nice icons. I probably should have left that one open, shouldn't I? I've got into a smaller one. So yeah, you've got nice new icons, uh, which uh, are usually the game box or maybe a, a screenshot or the, the start screen of the game. Um, so he set it up really nicely. The uh, thing is though, it's massive um, and you have to, he's obviously manually set it up on an A to Z uh, on zero to nine. He's also got things on there that's up to specify OCS, ECS, AGA, 6060, demos. There's all sorts on there. He's done a sterling job um, and I highly recommend you join the group and get access to it because um, it's a great way for keeping your WHD slaves, um, WHD load slaves <laughs> up to date with the current versions. Um, the thing is though, it doesn't group it into any particular way, does it? So in here, I'll put that back to the normal size. You can see there's all kinds of different genres in here, um, as I alluded to from the text file earlier. Um, so if we click on strategy, then uh, yeah, we've got Carthage, we've got Conflict Europe, Enough of the Seas, we've got Lords of the Rising Sun, K240. You get the gist. Again, this is something you have to do manually. So if I go into the Yeah, it's doing it. Yeah, if I go into here, um, the game properties, that, that was via um, game properties like that. Always forget this This is a bit slower than the uh, 060 version, or oh, the version on my 060 machine. So in here, once you've scanned your repositories and it's filled this list, this ma massive list it'll be, if you've got as many games on there as, as I do, you, you'll have loads of titles and they'll all be assigned to unknown. So in here, you can assign it to the genre of your choice. With that text document I showed you earlier, you can add genres to that or take them away um, to optimize your list for, for your machine. Um, I, th I think it's a pretty good list as it is. A any of the games I was going through here that I was unsure, I'd look them up on Lemon Amiga and it would give me a the, the, the idea of where, where I should assign them to. Um, you may find some games are terrible and you flag them as hidden so that you never actually see them. <laughs> um, there's also a, a favorite flag there to pop them up on your favorites um, and then it shows you some metrics like how many times you've played it and where it's actually stored. The tool types also shown here, you can't edit them in here. Oh, or maybe you can. I don't think you can, I think this is only read only. If it's not, and I'm, I'm sure there's someone out there that knows, um, do tell me. Um, but yeah, cancel that. So yeah, it's, it's quite good for that. Um, what else was I gonna show you in here? Uh, let's go to my favorites. There we go. I'd love to put a U in there, by the way, if you're the author for this. So, I've got various favourites flagged on here, everything from um, Alien Breed Special Edition and Alien Fish Finger through to Xenon 2 and Z-Wolf to Wild Justice. Worms of Director's Cup. Now this is an interesting one because it's not an actual WHD load game. If I remember correctly, it just r runs the Worms DC executable from here. You can see it's not in my WHD load directory. So, and you also see it says no info file. It does have an info file because um, it's got an icon. But this 
you can have a mix of the HD load games and just normal hard disk installable games on here. So like all of these I've added to my iGame list, uh, including Bratwurst, Blitz Bombers, um, Gravity Power, yeah. <laughs> and of course, Worms DC. Um, that makes it really handy because you're not just limited to what the WHD load slaves are. You know, um, I, I think with some other launches, you can only do it via WHD load, which kind of limits it a bit. Um, but yeah, all you do to go through this, you, you can you can click on the games you, you want, you can use your cursor keys, um, reach across, you can use a joystick, I think. Yeah, there you go. Although you have to wait for the image to render for it to work. Um, but uh, work it does, which is pretty good. And then you can press fire or hit enter and it will run fine. Um, there you go, there's, there's the WHD load splash screen before it starts. We'll just skip that. Straight into the game. I guess we just do that. And we're straight in. Then, you know, if I become bored of blowing up a handful of ships, I can hit whatever the exit key was. I never actually look on that splash screen and then wonder why on earth I can't exit out of games. And it takes you back here. And it's still set to Battle Squadron um, and what you'd already set and the same thing. And it just allows you to carry on selecting what you want. Now, in terms of installation, um, nope, launchers. <laughs> I'll go in here. Requirements. So you need at least a 60020 and two meg of RAM. Um, it runs, uh, my brother's got this installed on his A1200 with Workbench 3.1. Uh, and he's only got an eight meg RAM card, but of course it's a 68EC020 and runs absolutely fine. So um, be not afraid. And there you go, there's, there's what you need on there. So. Kickstart Workbench um, 2.1 or higher, 2.4 or higher on the Kickstart. Standard uh, Amigos libraries, GUI graphics library and render.library. I'll stick links up in the description for those. And then you'll also need to have um, Magic User Interface installed, MUI, um, and these two associated um, MCCs. GUI graphics MCC will be part of the GUI graphics library, so that'll be in the same file. But again, I'll provide links for all the external libraries um, so you can get them installed. Close that. So, how does it function on a more powerful machine? Let's jump over. Right, long-term viewers will recognize my workbench for my um, A1200T. This is the 68060 powered um, Mega 1200 of mine. Uh, I've also got loads of WHD load games on here, which you can see, I mean, it loads a lot faster via this machine than it does with my um, Blizzard 1230-4 slash 50 megahertz 60030 equipped desktop A1200. I think that's right. Um, that, that was just using the standard IDE interface in the A1200. This has a fast ATA so it can use the processor to really speed up the uh, transfers for id devices um, and use higher pio modes if you know what all that means so yeah the, these do load a, li a, a lot quicker but um it's still not ideal so i have iGame installed on here as well you'll see there's um this start iGame here that's so that i can have it set up to this button up here uh, for some reason, when I use just the the executable um, within this toolbar button, it, it doesn't run. Um, so this is an Icon X script that just basically says start iGame. Um, so we'll click that. As you can see, it loads a lot faster um, and it's just generally a nicer place to work in. Um, but I haven't quite set it up 
as well as the uh, the version on my desktop. So some of them have got these huge screens here, um, others still just using the new icon that's assigned to them. Um, it's a bit incongruous here and there, but um, it, it works and it's nice and fast. Um, you know, you can still set stuff up on here. I'll show you how to set one up actually, because I've got something on here that adds non WHD load game. So when you first set this up and you run it through your WHD load um, directories to pick everything up, um, you can also add games that don't have a WHD load slave and you do it via this menu item here. Um, so I'm gonna to browse to it first. This games, shoot them up, maybe 3D2, oh, is it that one? It's, it's gonna make me um, browse there, isn't it? Uh, AB3D2, yeah, TKG new. Um, from my last video, that's that's the uh, script to run the uh, the latest compilation of uh, AB3D2. So I'm just going to add that in. The killing grounds, and we'll put a handy new at the end just to show off uh, Pippa and Grand and Carlos and Ab Apu the monkey's uh, hard work. So we we'll add that in. That's now gone to the top there. But did I add it as a favorite? No. So let's do that. So that's in there now. Um, so yeah, th th this one's exactly the same as, as the other version. It's just a lot quicker. So on to the conclusions. So that's iGame. There are a variety of WHD load launchers available, including Xbench, uh, Tiny Launcher, um, and more. I did look them up. There, there's others. I, I, I might put a ticker tape here that shows them. Or... Anyway, um, I use iGame because I installed it, I like the way it looks. Um, I do like something that is a workbench application rather than jumping into a separate um, kind of custom menu kind of thing. Um, something like um, Tiny Menu, I think you can actually install it as, uh, sorry, Tiny Launcher. Um, I think you can install it so that it's actually uh, your Amiga boots into it. So if you've got a joystick only system, like a CD32 with a terrible fire and a SD card running from it, um, and all we've got is the joypad, you haven't got a keyboard or a mouse plugged in, it's really useful because it just means that you can kind of tab through it as if it's a games console where you can select like hundreds, thousands of games. Um, so something like that is very useful. It's a, a, a very good purpose for that particular launcher. Um, I like a bit of MUI. So uh, <laughs> um, iGame works quite well on my two systems. And because I have them both on the desktop 1200 with the 030 in it and the towered 1200 with the 060 in it, um, I can kind of get the configuration similar. So I hope you found today's uh, episode handy and helpful. If you've got any questions, please do ask in the comments. Um, I think I want to do a future episode actually on Magic User Interface, um, how to install it, how to configure it, that kind of thing, because I think it's a, a bit misunderstood uh, in recent years compared to maybe its late 90s heyday. Um, but yeah, again, thanks for watching and uh, catch you soon. Thank you.